what's going on? What's going on, y'all? This one here is called Behind You. And don't forget, hit the like button and subscribe. So, the story starts like this. Uh, it was a problem, you know, in the neighborhood. You know, this guy was a little, you know, attempting to be some sort of funny guy. You know what I'm saying? So, this is how the story went down. So, I, I, you know, I'm having a child and everything. My, my kid's mom's probably like five, six months or whatever. So, you know, I go to my man, who I think is my man, and, I, you know, I say, you know, yo, I need a job, you know, so because he had his little contracting business and everything. Everything was good. You know, he was making money, you know, had a bunch of jobs, had a bunch of leads. So it should have been all good. So, you know, I, I'd sit down, speak to him, you know, pour my heart out, yo, you know, I'm going through this, that, and the third. I need, I need some, you know, I need some assistance if you could. So he's like, yeah, 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 no problem, no problem, no problem. So he tells me, yo, meet me outside, I, you know, in the morning in, the, in front of the house at like, you know, 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. So I'm like, all right, cool, no problem, bro. So boom, I go to sleep that night, I get ready, you know, tell my kids, mom, you know, my pregnant girlfriend, like, you know, I, I got a job, you know, now we can get on our feet, you know, get a little money coming in, you know, because somebody promised me a little gig. So she like, all right, cool, cool, bet. So... You know, she set the alarm clock for me, you know, at about 5.30, all that. She was crazy. So, you know, so I get up. Boom, she wake me up, you know, about 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning. I get up, throw everything on, got my boots, you know, got everything together. Boom, and I, and I try to head hot tail it to his crib. Got there, probably was like 6, 6 o'clock or something, maybe 6.15. You know, 6 o'clock, in between 6 o'clock, 6.15. So, um, I get there, you know, calling his phone. Going to voicemail, calling his phone, going to voicemail, going to voicemail. So I'm like, yo, what's the deal? Why, you know, he just told me he was gonna let me rock. So, you know, so I, 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 and I knock and I knock on the door, no answer, no answer. You know, he had a little studio he built in the back that um, you know, he normally be in. So I went and knocked on that too, uh, knocked a couple times, no answer, no answer. So after maybe it turned about seven fifteen, seven twenty. You know, I, I go to the store, give me a little hero, you know, come back down, call him again. Boom, he answered the phone. So now when he answered the phone, he like, you know, yo, what's going on? I'm like, yo, what you mean what's going on? What's going on, bro? I, I thought you said that, you know, come out here. I've been out here since like 6, 6, 6 15 waiting for you. So he like, you know, yo, I, I you know, I, I left a little earlier. You know, you should have called me. I'm like, bro, I called you, man. You know, what are you talking about? He, yo, yo, look, I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. So... Boom, he hang up the phone on me. I'm like, oh, this is crazy. So, now mind you, this is when I was Wiley Coyote, man. You know, I was trying to be humble, come to this man, you know, tell him about what's going on, expecting a, you know, a friend. So, boom, he, he you know, he hang up the phone on me, got me heated. So, I call again. You know, he came with this attitude. Now, mind you, he know I ain't no sucker, but he still, I don't know what it was or what his intentions was, his goals was, but it was all sideways. So, he hang up the phone on me. I'm like, oh, this this dude is off the chain. So I look down. I'm like, listen, I'm not coming back in the house empty-handed. So boom, I went to the backyard. Boom, got a little stick. There was some pipe stick shit. I don't know what it was, but it was good enough to pry the door into the studio, man. Straight up and down. So boom, I pry the studio open. Boom. I got in there, man. I don't even I ain't even a studio type of dude, but it was all types of uh equipment and, and all types of wild shit in there. Instruments, mics. Man, listen, I took everything out of there. Everything that I could get my hands on. I left, took it, put it somewhere else, came back, took the rest. Boom, and then boom, called my boy up. Yo, I need to get the Sam Ash. <laughs> I don't even know if them joints are still around no more, but he came, picked me up, scooped me, threw, threw the first load in the car, went to Sam Ash, sold it. Went, got everything else, came back, went to Sam Ash, sold it. Boom, came back to, uh, you know, came back to baby mom's around like 3, 4 o'clock. You know, put a little dirt on my shoe like, yeah, yeah, I had a good time at work and all that. But, you know, I can't do it, you know, uh, but I got this. Boom, pulled out a couple thousand, whatever. She all happy. You know, everything was Gucci Louis. So, boom, then he then uh, he gives me a call. I guess he made it home. So, he called me like, yo, what's going on? Yo, yo, you you know, any, you seen anybody by the crib? Or, uh, uh, yo, it, it, niggas broke into the joint. I'm like, oh, word? Oh, all right, all right, that's crazy, yo. I'll be over there, see what's good. We try to find who did that. Boom, hung up the phone. Maybe about 30 minutes later, he called me again. So I'm like, yo, 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 look, look, look. Did the, did the reverse on him. Yo, yo, I'm busy, man. Boom, hung up the phone on him. So now he called him. I'm sending him straight to the voicemail. So boom, 
Now, mind you, from the beginning, I should have kept you on, on, on point with it from the beginning. I had a Dodge Stratus parked over there on by his crib. I hit a pothole in Brooklyn so that all you came out of the joint. You know what I'm saying? So it was parked over there. But I was, you know, working my way to get it fixed. Like I told you, I was down on my luck. So I go over there. You know, I well, I hear, I hear people talking. You know, people, my man called me and was like, yo... Uh, a dude feel like you, you know, you took some of his shit or whatever. Uh, 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 well, nah, I don't know nothing about that. He said, well, yo, the nigga over there breaking your windows to your car. So I'm like, what? So I called him. He like, yeah, 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 I broke his shit. I know it was you. Woo, woo, woo. Uh, people saw you. Nigga, ain't nobody see me, but all right, cool. So I told him, I said, look, you broke the windows of my car. You already know what it's hitting for now. So he like, yeah, whatever, whatever, my nigga, whatever, uh. Now, mind you, it was like five, six. It was still a little light out. So, boom, I gave it some time. I waited till the hit nightfall and all that. So, boom, I called my man. Yo, yo, I need the, I need the thing. I need the thing or whatever. He's like, yo, I ain't, I ain't got it. I had to give it to, you know, I had to give it to somebody. I done lose the joint. I'm like, oh, man, that's supposed to be our little thing. What, what, what's going on? So, I try to call somebody else. They talking about some 11, 12 o'clock shit. And I'm like, all right, you know what? I'm a nut. I was a nut at this time. So, I'm like, all right, you know what? Let me, let me go over here. I'm going to creep on him and, and look. So what I did was his house was facing on one side of the street. So I kind of went on the block behind it and jumped the gate. So now I'm like looking at him in front of the crib, in front of his house. So he's out there with like five, six dudes, maybe one or two of them I knew. So I see he had a shotgun and everything. It was crazy. Believe it or not. So boom. I'm looking. I hear him. Yeah, yeah, where he at? Uh, you know, had the little lookout. Everybody fired up. uh so, boom, I see, I'm like, look, and I'm just looking for names and faces now. That's my whole goal, looking, okay, so I see who's who's a, who's the opposition. So, I come around, I, I leave the backyard, I come around their block, like at the top door, at the top of the block. So, I walk past, they ain't see me, they just, you know, somebody just walking down the street. So, I walked across the top of the block, came back now around the block. Now, I'm behind this house on the next block. So, I'm contemplating, I'm like, listen, I got to prove something to this coward. So boom, I jump over his gate. You know what I'm saying? All I had, all I had on me. Now mind you, they got guns. All I had was my. They had like a. Oh, I had an old cell phone, a little square joint. Forgot the name of them shits. You just load minutes on it. So I go in his backyard. Boom, I see him. He's sitting there pacing back and forth in the front of the house. So boom, I did straight out the movie. So it's like a can on the floor. So boom, I kicked the can over. I swear to you, man. He come walking back, but he's still mumbling in his in the air and everything. But he walking back to see like what's going on in his backyard. So he come to the back. I pull the phone out so fast. He didn't see what it was. Pulled the phone out on him, put it to him. Yo, turn around and drop that shit. And I'm whispering to him because I know there's a few people in the front. They look like they was rowdy, rowdy. So boom, he dry. Oh, please, please, yo, let me, yo, look, look, we could talk this out. Snatch his shotgun from him. Unloaded the shit, threw it in the grass. So now I got the, he's on his knees. I got the phone in my hand. So I'm telling him, you know, threatening him, like, yo, you know, you, I could, I could do this, I could do that. Uh, you know, you count your lucky stars, uh, little sucker, uh, uh. So boom, he's still sitting there panicking and all that. You know, thought I was gonna murder him and all that. Boom, as I'm explaining myself, threatening him in a threatening manner, <laughs> I, uh, you know, the, the phone light up. Somebody was calling me. Like vibrating, so I quick. I had to hit it before he could turn around. Yo, turn it. Uh. So I clicked the off button. Boom. Click the off button. Boom. Grab. And now I'm looking down for his shotgun. He only had one shell in his shit. And I when I when I cocked it out of there, now it's in the fucking dirt. I couldn't even find the joint. So I'm like, fuck it. I just took his little nasty shotgun and all that. You know. Yo, listen. Count to a million. If I ever hear, uh, and when I come back, you better pay me my money for my car. Yeah, yo, I got you. I swear. I, yo, just don't kill me. Just don't kill me. So I, I jump over the gate. I leave him. Tell me, count to me. He counting down. He, he started from 999,000, whatever. So I jump back over the gate. Now, yo, and I, as I jump over the next gate, he's starting to slow down. Yo, yo, I, I don't hear you counting again. So boom. He start counting louder and shit. A little louder, but not too crazy. So I get over the gate. Boom, I leave. And I come back around the block, walk around the block again, come past on the top of the block. They like in the middle, so they can't see me when I'm crossing the street at the top. So I cross the street at the top, come around the block, come back into the same yard that I was watching them from from the beginning. And now I'm looking. So, boom, I give it a couple minutes and all that. Boom, looking around in the yard I was in because I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want nobody to see me or call no police on me. So I'm watching, I'm watching. He comes out the backyard. He was like, yo, screaming at, yo, 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 where, where the, where you, y'all been at, man? Look, man, yo, 
yo, the dude was, the nigga was, w w the nigga was just had me at gunpoint. Nigga was looking, like he was gonna kill me. Them niggas, the, the one couple dudes I don't know, they said them, yo, straight up and down, like, yo, what? You talking about the dude that we out here for, you telling me he was in the backyard? Yeah, he was in the backyard. He could have killed me back then. Y'all sitting out here playing, drinking, and uh. As soon as he said that, they got in the car and said, look, man, I'm out of here. If you you got beef with a nigga that's coming into your backyard while we all out here like that and could have killed you, I don't want no parts of that. Jumped in the car, and they skedaddled out of there. Yo, the funny, it was the funniest shit. Funniest, funniest shit, man. You had to been there to understand, man. But like I said, hit the like button, subscribe. There's more content coming to you, believe it or not.